All right, guys, what's going on? Today, Texas Tech hires defensive coordinator Tim DeRuyter. Tim DeRuyter. Um, it's not an easy name to say, especially the last name, De Reuter, uh, Tim De Reuter, uh, e. Reuter. If you really try to get the U in there, it's tougher. Um, guys from California. So this is a very, very interesting off-the-wall hire entirely. I mean, Zach Kitley's a Texas Tech guy. Um, the guy, Emmett Jones, I believe, who's running wide receivers is a Texas, Dallas, Texas guy. The offensive coordinator, Hamby, is Texas Tech, 2013, and worked with Zach Kitley. Of course, you have Cochran, who's from Texas entirely. Um, the running back coach is Texas Tech. And now you hire a defensive coordinator from all the way out in the middle of California. Complete West Coast guy. This guy is 63 years old, Fresno State head coach, has plenty of experience, was at Air Force, <laughs> was at Navy, and then was at Fresno and Cal and Oregon. He was at Fresno for a very long time. He was around Derek Carr, Devontae Adams. He was around really good offense, went 9-4, and four, went 8-4. and four. Then he went like 6-6, six and six, but then he went 1-7 and seven to finish. So it wasn't a great head coach, but the good news is he was around Justin Wilcox, okay? He, Justin Wilcox is a good defensive coordinator. He ran a terrible program at Cal, right? He's not very good. Good. But uh, defensively, like, they were pretty good. And then at Oregon, too, you had Kayvon Thibodeau. You had talent there. So at least you got to see what Mario Cristobal, really what talent is. 63-year-old. Th this is honestly what I think about the hire, okay? Because, you know, I know I've been posting Red Raider stuff. I've been really excited about the Zach Kitley hire and everything. And Joey, Joey Mack is great. Um, but in all honesty, this hire to me... It's, it signals stopgap hire. It, it signals, you know, they should have somebody under De Reuter um, that's going to be the full-time guy. I mean, this guy is 63. They're just trying to get – the program is decimated defensively. I mean, they gave up 70 points to the University of Texas. Um Against Oklahoma, they got absolutely destroyed. So Texas Tech, like, this is a really good hire because you got to stop the bleeding, right? So it's a good hire in that you got to stop the bleeding, all right? They're going to run a 3-4. Like, it's it's a win-now kind of a move. Like, hey, we got to get a little bit better on defense immediately. The upside is not like – it's not like this guy – I don't think he's some kind of wizard or he probably would have been a defensive coach or, he, you know, he would have been a little bit younger. The good news is he's probably going to hang around Texas Tech for a few years. The key is you got to hire good graduate defensive assistants, okay? You got to hire guys with huge upsides as, as grad assistants, as, as analysts that, uh, that can really learn from this guy because this guy's a great resource for the defensive guys on the staff, all right? And then you need to look at like what young coach is eventually going to be a stud defensive coordinator, all right? But De Reuter, he's there to stop the bleeding because you even read up on some of his Navy defenses and, and, uh, and, and his Army defenses, it's a bend-not-break approach. Like, they're going to try not to give up points in the red zone. I never like that. I always love, like, Manny Diaz or Mel Tucker. Like, I love guys who bring blitzes. Like, I'm probably very simple in that sense. Like, I love three and outs. I love aggressive uh, turnover, take the, take the ball away. But you know what? At Texas Tech, they have had some of those defensive coordinators, and it ends up getting them burned on deep passing plays. So, I think the defense like Joey McGuire can tell and Holcutt probably told him that this defense is not in shape to completely be absolutely awesome and they kind of like need to get their crap together and this guy is a professional so that's the thing about De Reuter he's a professional um it's like a C to a B minus higher I mean I don't know if this is the end guy like this is right now a guy that's gonna smooth it out right I'm trying to come up with an analogy. It's always like a girl analogy. <laughs> you get you get through an ugly breakup, all right, you know, and you just want to find a girl. She's not the hottest girl in the world, but it's like a girl that's mature, has her life together, and you try to get back on your feet that way. And that is exactly what, what the Reuters is going to be all about, all right? It's like, fine, let's do a golf analogy or something, right? It's like you're hitting the ball out of bounds. You have all this fan, you have all this equipment, and it doesn't work. And you know what? You take out your three-wood or your hybrid, and it's like, let's just put it in the fairway and be safe. That's what this hire is. 63-year-old, doesn't really have a lot of head coaching experience, but has been around Wilcox, has been around smart defenses, okay? He's 
He's been around the block. He's experienced. And this is good for Joey Mack, who's a little bit of a younger guy, fired up. It's good, right? At the same time, like, I've seen this happen, though. I've seen Joe Judge hire Jason Garrett and be like, oh, Jason Garrett, the offense, you know, I need coaching experience on the staff. You know, Sean McVay hired Wade Phillips, right? What happened with Wade Phillips? He was pretty good. But what happened after? It got stale eventually. Like, it was good for two years, and then Sean's like, listen, I got this. Then he hires Brandon Staley. Bam. Like, bam, that was lightning, you know? Don Brown, Michigan, older defensive coordinator, been around the block. Yeah, okay, okay. We'll, uh, we'll dip in. We'll ease into it. So this isn't the final destination, and I know that I might be mean. To, I might be a little bit harsh to Tim DeRoyter. Again, like, it's not the worst, right? I mean, he's settling in. It kind of shows you the stage of what of what, of what what McGuire's thinking here, of what Joey's he's never going to admit it, but he's like, I got to get things under control. You know, I'm taking a risk with Kitley and the guys. Kitley's young, hasn't really coached a power five. We're going to be up-tempo. We're going to try to light you up. And you know what? With Kitley, right, when you have that style offense of, like, we're going to try to score 50, your defense has got it. The way you're going to try to win is by winning high-scoring games, right? So then you're going to try to, like, then your defense can't be really lights out. And I guess try to get a defensive coordinator to come around with Zach Kitley, right? It's like try to get a defensive coordinator to come to a school where his numbers aren't going to look very good. But this is very interesting, right? It shows you Joey Mack like has a lot of pull in the West Coast, right? It shows you it's not all Texas. It's not all buddy-buddy. He's getting a different influence coming in here. A guy, how the, how the heck did this guy know Joey McGuire? How the heck does Texas Tech know Tim DeRoyter? from Cal, from Oregon, from Navy. He was born in Long Beach, California. And he's coming out to Lubbock. It's like, whoa, you know? California guy, West Coast. It's all Texas, but then it's the Reuter. I like it too, because guess what? Sometimes when you have too many friends, you know, around, people get comfortable, right? Timmy De Reuter, gonna be like, you know, on his own. I ain't a friend, you know? I'm viewing this thing. I coached Derek Carr, Devontae Adams, I've been there before. I know what I'm doing. So it's a great resource for Joey McGuire. It's like, you know, your swim instructor before you're a great swimmer. It's like, I'm going to teach you how to swim a little bit, all right? On defense, we're going to do this. And eventually, McGuire, he'll feel out the Big 12. He'll feel out where everything's going. And then he'll, he'll probably look closely at the landscape because he's, listen, I mean, defensive coordinator, we'd all want to hire the home run, find the perfect prom queen, you know, the perfect 10 immediately. But Texas Tech isn't ready to do that, and Joey Mack is still young. So, I I like it. Like, it shows you the state of it. Like, they're going to still try to win, you know, eight or nine games, play some defense, which will be great, play a little bit of defense and improve. Then get to the point where they're ready to freaking go all in on their freaking guy, all right? And that's what McGuire's going to do. Guy 63, he could be here, he could do his job, two- to three-year deal with Timmy DeRoyter. And again, I don't know if the defense is going to be exceptional, but it's going to be improved. It's going to be nice. It's going to be fun. Again, you got to love the experience factor, right? you got to like that they're going to try to make incremental improvement. At the same time, is it that exciting? It's the home run potential there, like a Mike McDonald, like, uh, you know, a young Mel Tucker, like Kirby, um, like the hot shot D coordinator that's young and got all these crazy blitzes. Probably not. Probably not. We'll see what they could do pre-snap, if they can have some fun with it. I like the um, the secondary coach. I'll probably do a video on that as well. Um, But interesting, interesting hire when you look at Tim DeRoyter going to Texas Tech. Shows you the mindset of McGuire, what's going on. So again, for now, it's fine. We got to let it play out, right? You know, got to let it play out. Tim DeRoyter, congrats, man. Let's go kill it. Let's go Raiders. Guns up.